Hey everybody, welcome back. We are joined today by George Stubblefield and he is a part of our uh, fans program here. And uh, George, tell us a little bit about fans and again, thank you for joining us today. Absolutely, thank you for the opportunity. FANS is a <clears throat> abbreviation for Faculty of Health, Applied, and Natural Sciences. It basically covers the sciences that uh, we have within the division here at William Jessup University. Good. I like that. I like that. So uh, part of what we want to focus on today is the look into both environmental and health sciences and kind of what they have to offer uh, for Jessup students. So tell us a little bit about both of those programs, where they would maybe lead a student uh, as far as a career goes and, and what a student would experience while they're here at Jessup. Absolutely. One of the more exciting things about the sciences is our health science um, subdivision, which is basically <coughs> um, our pre-nursing, pre-med, and pre-paraprofessional uh, degree paths and concentrations. We provide a significant avenue uh, for our students to reach professional goals as well as paraprofessional goals. If they want to become a physician or a nurse or occupational therapist or physical therapist, even a physician's assistant, we have a pathway for them uh, mm -hmm. with incredible faculty to provide them with their the guidance and the career um, choices that they need. Yeah, yeah, I like that, absolutely. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the internships? Obviously, internships is a huge thing here at Jessup. What absolutely. are some of the opportunities that students would have in those de departments? The internships are incredible here. <clears throat> we have significant partnerships and collaborations with uh, local hospitals, local medical clinics, local um, computer science uh, companies and agencies, hospice agencies. Um, we can place our students in an internship program, which is basically a hands-on through observation and shadowing mm -hmm. for uh, put them in an emergency room. We can put them in uh, <clears throat> different departments within the hospitals where they can gain incredibly in valuable uh, experience that they can uh, actually use now as they begin to formulate their whole career process. So mm. the internship plays a significant role in what we do in the classroom. Right. And we take that didactic information from the classroom and we take it out into the community. Mm. And we have um, partners that are extremely uh, cooperative and willing to allow our students to come in. Yeah. And because we're a faith-based institution, <clears throat> they allow us the opportunity to bring in not just to address the physical and the mental, but also the spiritual, which is huge for our, our uh, pre-med students and pre-nursing students. So a lot of exciting opportunities for the students where they can be placed into local facilities that will uh, give them <clears throat> experience that they could not get anywhere else. Absolutely. Yeah. So for students, uh, specifically, let's say, students that are going to move on to a master's program somewhere, mm -hmm. do you see that the internship component plays a pretty large role in their ability to get into a master's program? And I know a lot of students uh, may have a, a preconceived notion that going to a, let's say, a biology or a pre-med program at a small school like Jessup may put them at a disadvantage, whereas, you know, I think we know that that's not necessarily true. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how Jessup sets students up for success that want to go to that next route, that say, want to go to med school? Right. The really nice thing about Jessup and the, the culture and the community that we have here <clears throat> is that um, it is very collaborative. Uh, the students that come here have significant connections with their faculty, with the staff, with their counselors, with their advisors. It, you're just not a number here at Jessup. You are mm -hmm. involved from day one. All of our faculty, especially in the sciences, take a significant interest in each of the students' um, goals, their career choices, the pathways that we can assist them with, and the preparation that they can actually get to that point. We have um, such incredible expertise within the sciences, especially in the healthcare area. Um, <clears throat> we have physicians, we have um, psychiatrists, psychologists, chiropractors, osteopaths, we have all sorts of people that can actually, and nurses that are part of our faculty that can bring that kind of expertise to them. So when they finish their degree, not only are they able to be skilled in a skill set that relates to their career, but they're also, they've learned integrity and they've learned loyalty and they've learned how to to really ascertain 
what it is that, let's say, a patient, if you happen to be a physician or a nurse, would really need, not just the skills of diagno diagnosis, but the skills of connection and the right. humanity skills that we have. Yeah. So we actually have, uh, for our nursing schools and uh, nursing students as well as our uh, pre-med students that have actually graduated, we have right now, <clears throat> we have 100% placement. Wow. So every nursing st student that's come here <clears throat> has applied and they've gotten into the nursing program. Every physician or pre-med student that's come here has applied and gotten into med school. Mm. So we're doing something right. yeah. effectively yeah. with these students. And I think the internships, as you brought up, are such that they bring a reality to their learning, not just in the classroom, but a reality to the fact that they can take everything they learn in the classroom and they, they can take their faith-based concentration and the spiritual components and they can bring that into an environment where they're really dealing with patients, whether it's right. dental, pharmaceutical, medical, nursing, as I said before. Mm. So uh, when you have internships that are related to significant partnerships in the actual applied world where mm -hmm. they're actually doing something, right. um, that's invaluable. So when they graduate, it isn't a shock, it isn't anything unusual, they just take that next step right into the nursing program or pre-med program or, or whatever program, whatever postdoc work or yeah. postgrad work they want to do. Yeah. It's very exciting. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it sounds reputable. It sounds like students can come here and find a path to success Absolutely. regardless of, you know, which area in the sciences right. mm -hmm. they go into. Yeah. So, you know, stepping beyond the bounds of just internships. Obviously, our programs have outside the classroom learning that is independent of that. Tell us a little bit about some of the options there for whether it's environmental science, marine biology, um, obviously the mobile medical clinic. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that and how that factors into the education here. Well, I'll start with the, uh, the first two because the last one's really super exciting. <laughs> but uh, with, our, um, with our marine biology, we have a professor who is um, a certified master uh, scuba instructor as well as he has access to uh, two research sites uh, out of the country, literally. One's in Baja, California, which is the tip of the uh, Mexican Peninsula, and then the other one is in Haiti. Oh, sure. And so he actually can take our students and in, in a summer field trip, which is about three weeks, where they will go into Haiti or down to Baja, and there is a marine biology component to it, but the mm. exciting part is there's mm. also a medical missions component to it. Sure. They go into the hospital, and in these third world countries, especially in Haiti, they actually are there doing day-to-day -day work with them. They're not just wow. observing, they're actually getting hands-on activity, which wow. is, again, incredibly invaluable. Students that come back from these excursions basically have been impacted in, in more ways than just the experience. They come back and they're just changed. They're, they feel much more confident about what they're doing. Um, in environmental science, we have what's called the um, IBE, which is the Institute for Biodiversity and Environmental Science. And this is an institute that is currently working with, again, collaborations and partnerships uh, to facilitate what's called the Pacific Crest Trail Research Project, mm -hmm. which is a 10-year long research project that's been going on. And they, they literally will take anywhere from 15 to 30 students out and they'll go probably about 500 miles on on this Pacific Crest Trail, and it's a 2,600-mile trail from Mexico all the way to Canada. Wow. And they do field research. They're up there for about eight weeks. They start in the desert, and they end up in the high mountains. And, and again, it's hands-on. It is research. It's, it's real science. They bring back the data they collect, and then they process that data here on campus. And then the last thing, which is the newest thing, is we have acquired um, a mobile medical clinic from John Muir Hospital down in Concord. They have donated their cl their mobile medical clinic to us, and it's a large truck that literally has two exam rooms in it that can be staffed by a medical doctor, nurses, uh, medical assistants, and so on, even physical therapists, and mm. so on. Wow. So the key with this is that because our health sciences are beginning to expand, possibly into nursing, possibly into medical assisting, possibly into yeah. even physician's assistants in the future. Lots of programs are being considered, but now 
Probably in the next 30 days, we're going to have that up here. We're going to be able to have a place for our students to come right off, right out of the classroom, go right into the clinic. And this medical mobile clinic will be going out to the underserved areas in our local communities. It will be going to churches. It will be going to areas that have low access to yeah. health care. Mm. And with the volunteers, we'll be able to have it actually as a field experiment where our students now, our pre-nursing students, pre-med students can actually go out there and spend a day in the in the community servicing underserved areas with health care needs and meeting them. Um, it's an amazing. incredible opportunity for us. Yeah. Mm. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it is. So yeah. obviously we have some students where hopefully if they're, you're listening to this, you're really interested in it. Um, but sometimes we'll have students that come in, they don't really know what they want to do right. with college. Um, how would you encourage those students that maybe one of these majors I mean, with the internships and the opportunities, it's amazing. Uh, beyond that, how would you encourage people that they're not sure if they want to be doing the sciences or not? That's a great question. Um, <clears throat> that is something that we have really been focusing on because there, there is a small, surprisingly, about 20% of the students that come into the sciences have not made up their minds. They're not, mm. they're not um, predated or pre-concerned about one thing, but they really want to look at all the opportunities. So again, because our faculty is so diverse in the healthcare sciences, that we can get them connected with a physician, a psychiatrist, a research person, a nurse. We can get them actually connected and they can, by their conversation and by our advising, mm. they can actually look at every one of those careers and get a literally a practical application of what it looks like in the real world as compared to what it's going to take academically to get to that point. Mm, nice. And so we can give, this, give them this plethora of information where they can begin to narrow down their search, mm. what feels right to them, and then, in addition to that, we can also provide them with, if, they have a, if they're leaning in one direction, we can actually put them into that environment. For instance, an example would be, let's say we have a student who comes in, thinks he wants to be pre-med, but maybe not, um, so he's looking at maybe a PA or something else, so we say, well listen, why don't we just do a short little internship at an emergency department at our local hospital. Mm. You go in there, your hands in, you, you're walking through it, you can experience it. If that makes sense to you, you're either going to come out saying, that's not for me, or you're going to come out saying, I am convinced this is where I want to go. Absolutely. So we have the practical application along with the actual advising and the direction we can provide them for. It works out really well. Usually by the time they get to sophomore, they pretty much have narrowed it down to either one specifically or no more than two. Love it. Sure. That's so great. It works well. Great. It sounds like if you aren't 100% sure what you want to do, the sciences, they, <laughs> they've got the perfect uh, recipe for that. So, uh, George, last question for you. We try to ask this to all of our guests. Overall, just on a very basic level, what is your favorite thing about Jessup? Wow. Um, there's a lot of incredible things about Jessup. Um, I've been here long enough to where I, I have an opportunity to experience all different aspects of Jessup. And, Probably more than anything else is the relationship that we have with our students, the mm. faculty and our students. I've never seen it at any other institution. I think it's a special, I think it's unique. Our community and our culture that we have here literally creates a family attitude where mm. our students trust our, the faculty. They can come to us. I have students dropping into my office you know, five, ten times a week just wanting to talk. They don't want to talk about their grades, they don't want to talk about it. they just want to come by and talk. And that kind of attitude you will not find at too many other institutions. So mm -hmm. the greatest thing I think from my perspective is that is the relationship that we establish with our students and giving them the opportunity to impact the world with whatever advice they're willing to take from us. And um, I've seen it over and over again. Students can come in and they'll have concerns or questions and after a semester or two or a year or three, by the time they get toward the end of their experience academically, um, they're stronger, they're more confident, they have a, a voice, they believe, um, mm -hmm. and they become potential impactors in whatever field they choose. So yeah. that's my most favorite thing about being here at Jessup. I've been at many institutions and this is the only place I can honestly say that occurs on a regular basis. Yeah. Yeah. It really goes back to the, to what you said earlier of students here aren't just a number, they're That's a name right. and mm -hmm. you know we care about the individual and, and really helping them take that next step in life and development and it's more than an education. Here. Absolutely. So. It is not just an education, it's a life changing experience. Right. Agreed. 
Well, guys, thank you for joining us. George, thanks for, for stepping in today. Absolutely. We really appreciate it. Guys, follow us uh, wherever you watch or listen. <laughs> we have a bunch of, uh, of different videos on here with different people from Jessup, and we just want to show you more about the personality behind the program. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.